I feel like this is super, this is just a super weird angle, but I honestly just, I'm gonna go with it today because I meant to film earlier in the house and then I had some errands to run and it just kind of, I never got around to it. So we're gonna have to make this work for right now. So today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to heal your inner child. I've been thinking about this a lot and I feel like that's what this channel's all about is just healing your inner child and healing the things that broke you as, you know, as children. Something that I've put a lot of work into, especially since moving. So I'm gonna be talking about some things that I've done that have really helped me. You're gonna have a lot of bad memories as a child, especially if you grew up in a family that was broken, a family that, um, you know, your parents got divorced maybe, or you just had a rough time in school. Both of those things were things that were prevalent for me when I was growing up. So I had to learn how to heal from that. Uh, going forward. Learning something new each day is such an underestimated way of helping you get through a hard time and even post that hard time like just reading and educating. I love to read things about like child development, psychology, stuff like that just to like help me get through. The second thing I'm going to recommend is being a cycle breaker and I've talked about this so much on my channel if you have watched at all you know but I've really learned the art of just moving forward and saying, you know what, I do not want this in my life. I do not want the drama. I do not want the divorce. I don't want any of this in my life. And I'm going to distance myself and I'm going to be a cycle breaker. I'm going to work on myself, work on my triggers, work on the way that I react to certain situations so that I can become a better parent. I don't pass this garbage along to my children. And guys, I want to say, please do not let the people that hurt you make you better because if you do then they won but if you if you decide like i don't want the abuse in my life i do not want to be a mean person or be a bitter person because of this if you decide that then you win you win so the choice is yours you can either let the people who hurt you you can either let them win you can either let them make you a bitter mean person or you can decide you know what i'm going to be a kind person i'm going to be respectful to other people I'm going to change my life for the better. That is something that has really, really helped me break the cycle and really helped me feel good about myself and be like, you know what? I'm a daughter of God. I can choose to live my life in his word, walking with him, or I can choose to live my life in bitterness and hatred. And you know what? I want to live my life in peace and I want that peace for myself. And so I'm going to do everything I can to get rid of anything that puts a wedge between me and peace. Okay, the next thing is, so I have a ton of uh, pictures from my childhood and I look at myself and I, you know, a lot of times it's easy for us to remember the bad memories. It's not that you should um, blank out bad memories, but it's really, really important, um, at least for me, to look at those pictures and to tell myself everything I needed to hear when I was a kid. Give myself affirmations. And it may seem like the weirdest thing you've ever heard, but I promise you it's so, so good. Because... I'm an adult now, and I was a child then. I was helpless then, you know? I relied on my parents for everything. Telling myself things like, you did not deserve this. This was not supposed to happen to you. Like, your feelings are valid. Oh, your desires are valid. I love you no matter what. You are amazing, you are beautiful, you are a daughter of God, and you are strong. And saying even things like, I'm sorry, you know? I say, and this, again, sounds dumb, but I say for my parents, you know, I'm sorry to my inner child, I say that. And that's not from myself, but that's from my parents. You know, I say, I'm sorry for yelling at you. I'm sorry for treating you like that. You don't deserve that. You deserve to be loved, to be cared for, and to be cherished by your parents. And I'm sorry. And that's what I say to my, my inner child, because my inner child deserves an apology from my parents. But since I never received that, and most of the time, you know, you'll never receive a, an apology from abusers, you can say to yourself, your inner child, you did not deserve that. And you did not deserve the abuse. You did not deserve the trauma. You did not deserve the neglect. You did not deserve to be spoken to that way. You deserved to be protected, to be loved, to be cherished because we were your parents and we should have done that. And that's kind of what, you know, I've been doing to heal my inner child and, you know, to heal myself. And you're allowed to say that for your parents. You're allowed to say, I'm sorry. And it doesn't mean I don't have empathy for my parents. That doesn't mean that I don't recognize that they were probably suffering themselves and therefore, you know, that projected onto me. But I think that it's so so important to understand that I was also very hurt by that and that I deserve closure in that area so just you know apologizing to myself from my parents for myself as well my inner child and like looking through pictures and stuff and like, seeing 
myself as a child and like just remembering how helpless I was and how um, dependent I was. And I, I truly believe, and this is kind of a tangent, but I truly believe that God created children, that he created the mother or like the mother and father child relationship. So, so beautiful. And his intention for it was for it to be a loving relationship, for gentle parenting to be there, for, you know, parents to lovingly guide their children along to adulthood. But unfortunately, you know, given that, you know, we live in a broken world where people are broken and generational cycles exist, unfortunately, that's, it doesn't happen that way a lot of the time, which is sad, but, you know, doing my part to make sure that, you know, I, I restore what God intended, which was a gentle parenting relationship with a parent and a child and lovingly guiding them to heaven and to an adult and into adulthood and making them healthy productive adults you know healthy physically he healthy mentally and i'm sorry if you guys hear rain uh, i probably should have said that at the beginning of the video but it's very rainy here today so anyway the next thing i want to touch on is learning okay so this was something that i struggled with a lot you know and i still do struggle with it a lot if i'm being honest guilt for past mistakes I grew up in a very, and you know, this is where I, this is why I have a lot of empathy for my parents because I understand that when you're broken and when you're being treated in the way that I was treated as a kid, you do not make the best decisions. And I hurt really, really good people. And I turned my back on so many amazing people that I forever will regret. And I think that, you know, I can acknowledge that my actions were hurtful, but still understand that like, I like I had needs that weren't being met by my parents and needs that should have been met by, by my parents because they were my parents they were there to lovingly guide me along the way but they didn't and just learning how to throw the guilt out the window for my mistakes because I was hurting so much like the most and I will say this still to this day the most difficult thing I've had to go through is going through struggles alone as a child, I dealt with things alone that no child should ever have to deal with alone. And it's, it's such a, it's such a hard thing to do. And especially, you know, when my parents inevitably had to get involved, it's such a hard thing to ha feel judged, to feel shamed all the time, to just feel like you're a garbage person for having problems. Because of that stuff, I made really bad decisions that poorly affected people that didn't deserve to be affected that way. And that is just something like, those are things that I regret and that I hold a lot of regret for, but really learning how to let that go. The reality is, is that I can't, first off, I can't change anything that's in the past. You know, it's the past. So regret doesn't do anybody any good because like getting on the internet and like begging everybody for forgiveness just doesn't do any good. Secondly, I was not, like, I didn't receive the help that I needed, and I didn't receive the love and the care and the attention that I deserved from my parents, and to go through that was just one of the, like, it's just the hardest thing that one, that I've had to go through, and things I made as a result of that, um, I don't want to say that they weren't my fault, but at the same time, like, the culpability that I had for that is greatly reduced because how I was being treated. The suffering that my parents reflected onto me, it was just this vicious cycle that I didn't break. And like, what 17 year old, what 16 year old is gonna break that cycle? I just don't want anybody else to ever feel the way that I did. And like, just knowing that I don't have to repeat that, that I can choose to live a life of chastity, that I can choose, you know, choose my, my the father of my children very, very carefully. The thing that I can do right now to, to contribute good to this world is no longer participate in those mistakes. Like no longer treat others the way that they don't deserve and to be just a kind, genuine, loving person who always does her best to help other people. So thing that I wanna talk about, and this is part of breaking the cycle, is to choose the father or mother of your children very, very carefully. And I cannot stress this enough. This is just something that I have been thinking a lot about lately. We cannot be cycle breakers if we choose to sleep around and we choose to cloud our judgment so that we can't clearly see and we can't clearly earn the father or mother of our children. And this is something that I talked about on my Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, shameless plug, but I will put it in the description below. That is part of being a cycle breaker is choosing the mother or father of your child very, very carefully is choosing to value yourself and to say, you know what, I'm not going to be having sex with people 
who didn't de don't deserve it. And to be honest, nobody deserves to have sex with you but the person who vowed their life to you. So healing your inner child by choosing not to sleep around, by choosing to live a life of chastity so that you can clearly discern whether or not this person is a will be a good mother or father to your child. So, all right, so that concludes today's video. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys do to heal your inner child? If you are new to my channel, hi, my name's Julia. I'd love for you to subscribe. I love to talk about parenting, sex, relationships, all that kind of stuff. So if that sounds like content you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.